It's a David and Goliath battle being played out in our inner west. On one side, Australia's biggest transport project, the West Connects Motorway, linking Sydney's west to the southwest to the CBD. On the other, the people forced from their homes to make way for traffic, and today they made their voices heard. She's lived here for every one of her 87 years. Now Betty Morgan is about to be kicked out of the only home she's ever known. If I've got a couple of years, I'd like to be here and, you know, for the rest of my life. Betty's house is in the way of the West Connects project, an $11 billion, 33 kilometre above and underground motorway linking the east and west. Like about a hundred other Inner West residents, Betty received a letter. That my house is uh, in the road and uh, it will be taken down. Today, locals rallied to oppose the construction of what the government says will ease Sydney's traffic congestion. The people here are angry, they're worried, demanding answers about how the new road system will affect their lives. These are our futures. These are our children's futures. Officials from West Connects tried to calm fears. I'm here as part of the consultation process to listen to what you have to say. The local MP said it will remove traffic from local streets. Will remove the one single thing which is making your lives locally a misery. And that is the reality of it. Now, yes, you can, you can shout as much as you like. But for George and Angela Vaccaro, the future remains uncertain. The tunnel is going to stop right near the house, so I don't think I want to be here to see that, because it'd be heartbreaking. They raise their six children in this house. Like Betty Morgan, they fear what lies ahead. Everyone says it's progress, which it is, but I think there's a right way of doing it. Simon Boda, Nine News.